Hi guys, uh, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Collectively, we are the Office Blokes. Yep. Yeah. It is true. Uh, yeah, loads of you aren't subscribed. 63% at the moment. So if you do us a massive favour, wow. pop down there, just yeah. subscribe. It does... Well, it, it just it does, it does a subscription happy. on the channel. <laughs> it does what it says on the tin, yeah. It on does what it says on the tin, yeah. Uh, right, so Tosh.0 Web Redemption, Security Officer J. I'm not sure I know who this is. No, me neither. No, 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 no don't know about this I don't one. Know, I don't know who any of them have been. No, that's yeah, true. I'm yeah. being honest. Well, I've seen since Nico, Nick, Nicardo Avocado. Yeah, something like that. Oh, um, uh, yeah. On a... a channel that's the rise and fall of youtubers and stuff and what happened no. is he the guy that ate all the food while you're crying yeah. and all that yeah yeah uh, it, well it yeah. wasn't the rise and fall it was uh his sad decline into being overweight i think oh, the video okay. was yeah. framed as right. he's like okay. 250 pounds now or something yeah huge a lot more expensive than our one pound 50 absolutely know, yeah. yeah yeah much more so let's get into it uh touch point of web redemption security officer jay let's do it in this video you have a stranger, a rapist, coming to the door. <laughs> a young wife is at home by herself. And the rapist knows she's at home by herself. The young lady tells the man that her husband is gone, but her brother is inside. She goes and she press the security hey, officer, hey, J.C.D. Hey, tell whoever it is, I'm asleep. Hey, and tell the him I'm asleep. Hey, come back later. Another male Let figure know is sleep, in the house. Right, come back later. And he <laughs> retreats as soon as he hears another male's voice. And this may have saved her life. The hardest part about... Before he gets into the monologue, on the face of it, it doesn't seem like the stupidest idea to have a male voice in the house. So yeah. a predator may go... But then yeah. you're assuming that like some sort of predator's sound of mind, and they're going, "Ah, oh, no, I'll come back later." Yeah, there's everything about it though. She can't. She's too small to look through the peephole. Yeah, he's got. He's stood outside with a knife. He's Kitchen went, went knife in his pocket that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, so I think Tosh is gonna have a bit of fun with yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. I think so, wouldn't you? Other male's voice, and this may have saved her life. The hardest part about keeping your home safe is finding a boombox. <laughs> the writer, director, and star of the infomercial you just watched is Security Officer Jay. And he invented the greatest crime prevention device of the 21st century. If it weren't for Steve Jobs and his Asian army making compact disc obsolete, Jay's CD deterrent would be number one on the urban security charts. <laughs> security commercials never make the intruders female. That's just sexist. <laughs> the first thing they teach in criminal school is that everyone with a tiny security sign stuck on their front <laughs> lawn is lying. <laughs> if you want the best security system, load a gun. They're safe, easy to use, and they add an interesting little what-if scenario to all your late-night domestic squabbles. <laughs> of course, Jeez. the easiest house to break into is a treehouse. You think that no grown-ups allowed sign is gonna scare me off? <laughs> think again, children. <laughs> if you really want to be safe, just don't live in a neighborhood where overzealous volunteers take matters into their own hands. <laughs> Zimmerman! <laughs> the scariest home invasion will always be when your girlfriend tries to move in. <laughs> Security Officer Jay already knows what the Republicans proved when they choreographed 9-11. Fear is good for business. That's why I flew him to LAX, where they need a ton of help with their security for this week's Web Redemption. Who's out there? It's me, Daniel. You're a rapist. I am not a rapist. You're a rapist. I'm not a rapist. <laughs> Is Jay here? Come on in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Taking me. Out. <laughs> Jay, nice to meet you. How you doing, Tasha? Nice to meet you too. Doing well. Aren't you going a little overboard with all this security? Staying safe is no joke. Let them know I'm safe. Oh, hey, the CD went off, and I. Right now, hey, let them. They got me. I thought that was actually somebody <laughs> sleeping. Is there a lot of crime in Atlanta? Hell yes. Are there police? Yeah, the ones that's still alive. <laughs> Are you a police officer? I'm a security officer. So security is your business? Yes, I take security very seriously. What made you create this video? Uh, it started with me just needing some kind of sound effect in my house so I could deter 
burglars and thugs and thieves from breaking in. I had a neighborhood where everybody broke into my home and I had studio equipment, so I ended up getting my studio equipment together, making dog sounds. Wait, that was you, not a real dog? Not a real dog, it was me. Who makes a better dog noise, you, DMX, or Michael Winslow? I would give it to me because I got that mic equipment and that mixer, sure. and I can be the deepest voice or the lightest voice. I could be a poodle if I wanted to. Now, did the CD work? My son told me that his friends came by, and they said, what kind of dog y'all got? We thought he got it. We thought he was out the door. We thought the door was, you know, cracked or something. And from there, I just decided, hey, maybe I can help other people who can't afford a dog. A dog's a lot of responsibility. That's right. Can't clean up behind dogs. Right. And... Although they do give you unconditional love, which is a big plus on the dog side. There you go, that's right. How much did it cost to produce this security system? The CD costed about, I'll give it about $4 a CD. Oh, no, no, I thought, I thought $4 the whole production value. <laughs> no, no, no. How many units have you sold? I really don't want to discuss how many units <laughs> I've sold. Has it gone platinum, yes or no? <laughs> no, not yet. Are you I don't want to discuss. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's sold any. Exactly. Three. Or is, that, or is that for tax purposes because it's just all cash in hand? Ooh, hands. interesting. Uh, maybe, no, maybe. maybe. Three. It'd be mail order, wouldn't it? So there will be a trace. Yeah. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Yeah. He's three. He's mum. He's aunt. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> His imaginary it. dog bought one. Yeah. Do you like Eddie Murphy in the booth doing all the voices of all eight guys, or do you have other actors helping you? I am doing. All the voices. He coming in. What you doing, man? Some fool. Get him, Jay. Who's your dream celebrity cameo? Russell Simmons on there, or either Donald Trump. I would go Morgan Freeman. Okay, Morgan Freeman. You imagine his voice. Although people might not want to leave, like Morgan Freeman's in this apartment. I need to get in there and help him. <laughs> that could be a problem. What's the backup plan if the CD just happens to skip? The customer that purchased the product would have to purchase a new CD. In that moment, <laughs> they would have to go out be and dead. purchase a new CD. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have you ever done personal security? I try my best to do what I can and make everybody feel secure. You're like Liam Neeson. Why would a rapist carry a knife in the front pocket? That seems extremely dangerous. The victim doesn't know where the knife is. Hopefully it's in the right pocket and not in the front, because I hate for him to snatch it out real quick. He's going to pull off more than that knife. But yeah, you don't want him to cut himself. <laughs> <laughs> that is my sign, Tosh. Break-ins. Securityofficerjay.com rate for break-ins. Wow. Helping women and children and men. It also helps men. Some men get raped sometimes. Hey, we don't want to talk about it, but it happens. But I'm not going up in no pen trying to help nobody. Your idea is golden. No one's going to argue that. The problem is, no one's using CDs anymore. That's why I have one word for you. OK, what you got? Apps. OK. So we can have security officer J-A-Y at your fingertips whenever you need them. And the best part about it, I'm only going to take 98 cents per app you sell. Introducing the all new security officer J iPhone app, the app that keeps you safe from more than just crime. Religion is a personal choice. So when it comes knocking at your door, tell it to go to hell. Quiet out there. We are a bunch of Jehovah Witnesses trying to pray. Don't come back later either. We're going to be praying to Jehovah then too. Why toot your own horn in social settings when the Security Officer J app can toot it for you? Hey, Mr. Stockbroker. Good news. The $40 million transaction went through. <laughs> <laughs> and if you work from home, the last thing you need are distractions. Police, open the door. Got everything under control in here, fellas. See you back at the station. And remember, <laughs> never get high on your own supply. Need more privacy while tugging on your meat thimble? <laughs> this sticky situation. Oh, honey, what are you doing in there? Sure it's fine being a mouth tutor. Okay, carry the six here, then minus it all by five. Sorry to interrupt. What about that too friendly neighbor who wants to come over while your kid's home alone? Hey, I just moved in across the street and I want to let you know I f children. Ain't no kids in here. Just some loose old senior citizens. Move to Thailand, buddy. But that's not all. <laughs> now and receive three more copies of the app that will just take up space on your phone. Four never before seen emoticons. Oh my God. Magazine. A security camera disguised as a pair of Timberland boots. Seasons 1, 2, 3, and 6 of Mr. Belvedere on DVD. And an unneutered male pit bull. <laughs> cash only. All sales final. Swap me policy. You know how we do. Void where prohibited, which is everywhere. Ken works in my office, and he is not a pedophile. But he is a method actor. Jeez. <laughs>
<laughs> wow, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, funny. Uh, yeah. He always comes up with that one punchline at the end. He, he, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he comes up with some gems, genius. doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I know there's things to pick apart with that idea, but <clears throat> the microphones were distorting. So when he's doing the dog noises and the, mm. yeah. you know, I'm sleeping, so yeah. to go away. It's like you can hear a distorted microphone. It sounds like someone's just turned the TV up. Oh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't sound like a person, does it? I think that's why he's on the show, mate. Oh, no, I'm taking <laughs> yeah, it too seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That might work. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Or just don't. Bit, that was funny, the app bit at the end. Mm. You could just not answer the door. As Maybe, well. yeah, true. There's always that. Did they not have the chains on the door in the States? Yeah, like, that's going to stop anything. I think there's Hello? looking at uh, like a deterrent answer to stop people trying to, you know, smash your door down or break your window, I suppose. So. Break your back door. Yeah. Down. Like you said, they'd be, be dead. And I said, not necessarily, because he was a rapist, not a murderer. True. At the door. True. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So. <sighs> not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Hit the bell and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers.